Hi guys, it's been a minute or three months since I spoke to you. I have just gotten home from work. I popped some lights on because it is not even five o'clock yet and we are very fastly losing light. That is winter for you. I wanted to update you on my apartment and my journey and me and just say hey because it has been far longer than I ever expected it to be. And a lot of you have been asking for an update and asking where I've been. So here I am in my apartment where I'm living full time. Yay, just to make you a little bit seasick, I wanted to get excited. I actually moved into my apartment completely living here full time in April. So just after I posted my last update was when I moved in. It's very exciting. It was very strange to begin with. And I might do a whole other video answering questions about, I don't know, the whole moving out, living by yourself process. I feel like there's a lot of questions that I get that could take up a whole nother video. But yes, I've been doing it for the last few months. It was weird, but now it's awesome. I really enjoy it. And I wanted to update you and let you know that since you've been on this journey with me for over a year now. So yay, we finally did it. And then I also just wanted to share with you a few little bits and pieces that I've added to the apartment changed. I have bought a bunch of new stuff as well. So this will be a little, little bit of a haul. Target and Kmart here in Australia have recently released a whole bunch of new stuff, though they're in their process of also releasing more new homewares. And you know me, I love a bargain. I love a good homeware. So I'm gonna share those with you today. The first thing that I want to show you is this mirror. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen pictures of this mirror. I picked this up from Freedom. I have had this in my like mood board wish list since before I think I even owned this apartment. It was one of the original items. I love it and it went on sale and it was just this moment of madness. I bought it and then afterwards I freaked out thinking that it wasn't going to fit, that I had nowhere to put it, what have I done, yada yada yada. But it showed up a week and a half later. I've put it in this spot and I love it. I really wanted to add a mirror in this space just because mirrors bounce off so much light. I have the big windows right here. I wanted to reflect that. They do make a space seem more open as well and I just, I love, I love everything about this mirror. It's the grid leaner or floor mirror. Uh, I will pop links to all the new things that I talk about in the description box below for you guys if they're available because I know you like to, to do some shopping as well. So that's the mirror from Freedom. As you can see in this area, I've changed up a few of the plants as well. This new one here, this cowboy cactus is a gift. It was a 30th birthday gift from my parents. I've got a few present plants um, that I'll show you guys. The pot is just from Kmart that I had already. My other plants are flourishing as you can see. Here I've got a couple of new prints. I think I alluded to them in my last video. They finally arrived. They actually took about six weeks to show up and I put them in some Kmart frames. I do need to hang them. These are from the poster club. I did order them from Zanui, but they're from the poster club. I love these. I had originally planned on them potentially going in my bedroom, but I've changed my mind about that and these are now going to go on the wall just up here as soon as I can hang them. I love the colors. I, yeah, really like those. Over here, this is going to be the start of my, I guess, Kmart haul. I've got a couple of new Kmart items, which you may have spotted, and I did originally plan on gathering them all together, but I wanted this video to be real life, and I haven't actually cleaned up at all for this apartment update. So when you see like random stuff, I don't know, on the benches and things, it's because this is what it looks like when I'm living in here. I'm pretty clean, but uh, this is sort of... It's, it's natural state. I didn't dress it up just for this video. So I figured that with the magic of editing, I can do a haul with all the stuff just scattered around the apartment. The first thing is this plant stand. This is part of the new Kmart release. This pot is also from Kmart as well. And I really just like the way they look together and the black really picks up with the, the black in the mirror and the black in my lamp. I really like having those darker accents to ground the space because a lot of my other stuff is quite white and light and neutral so that they are new the fiddle leaf faux fiddle leaf fig I've had for a while that's from my house this pot is new I love the retro vibes that this has it really picks up sort of the mid-century modern style that I have in some of my other pieces of furniture and the billy balls are also a new Kmart uh, release really cute I don't know if they'll actually live here. I just loved the color and I thought that the orange in the balls picked up the color, the little orange dot that you've got going there. I don't know. I just like them, picked them up. It was a spur of the moment type thing. 
but all really nice new releases from Kmart. I've brought you over to my study, even though not much has changed here, but more Kmart newness is this lamp. This beautiful lamp, it's only $29. I've seen them in other places, similar styles for so much more money. And I just love the boho vibe that it has. It's absolutely gorgeous. I did also pick up one of these, uh, I hold on, held on to the packaging so I can show you guys. It's the Mirabella Genio smart uh, bulbs. I actually have one of these in my other lamp in the living room and I love it because I can turn it on and off with my phone. I just get the warm white dimmable version because I don't need color changing lights. If you've ever watched like any of my old videos talking about Christmas lights, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not about mixing light colors at all. But yes, these are really awesome, easy to use. I like that you can use them with both Google Assistant and Alexa, depending on what you happen to have in your house, if you have smart electronics. If I get my phone and we go into the app, da -da 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 -da, and you go on ah, and off, and you can set it at a schedule. And then I do have, oh, that's the dimming function. Oh, why am I so bad at this? There we go, let's go back. I can go to my other lamp over here, on, uh, off. Trying to do this through camera is very difficult, but you get the picture. I have them on a schedule, so like this lamp comes on at five o'clock at night because that's kind of when it gets dark, so it'll come on in a few minutes time. But yes, highly recommend those, highly recommend the lamp. I also picked up this candle from Kmart, which is also one of the new releases. It's like the line faces or drawn faces candle, really nice. I like it more as decor than for an actual candle itself, so I probably won't burn that one anytime soon. In my pile of bits on the kitchen island, I also grabbed this from Kmart. This is the desk tray set of three. Haven't actually put this anywhere yet, but I loved the colors and I like being able to put trinkets and things. So I thought that was really good. This is one of my Target purchases, one of a few. Another new release in the Target homewares section. This is the salt box but I just figure it could be used for so many different things haven't quite worked out what I'm going to use it for yet it may be salt it may be jewelry it could be anything but really love that one so let's just whip this out the target catalog since we're here is just dreamy if you're looking for new homewares this video is totally not sponsored although I feel like it's going to come across as sponsored by Kmart or Target but yes so so nice so dreamy so pretty I love I don't know, I just love the whole vibe of the homeware section right now. It is absolutely stunning. I really want this poof because it matches the um, little cushion that I've already got on my chair. I don't have anywhere to put it, but I love it. So shout out to Target for the homewares. While we are on the topic of Target, I did pick up this little set here. This is a, a drink carafe, carafe. I never know how to say that. It's a glass bottle with rattan sleeve. And then they also have some tumblers over here, if I can pick this up one-handed, that match as well. Really inexpensive. I think these were 15 for four and this was $6. But as a gift, they work great. If you've got somebody, I bought these for my friend because she's just bought an apartment and she loves really like boho styling, quite beachy. So these were perfect for her and I just fell in love with them myself. So I picked those ones up as well. Great little buy there from Target. Not a lot of other updates in my kitchen. I do have one new canister there, which is from TK Maxx. Love TK Maxx. And then I do now have food in my cupboards, which is awesome. Happy to have them stocked. Not greatly organized, but they are stocked. I also have a snack cupboard, which is just the bomb. Love these. If you see these, buy them. They are amazing. Absolutely awesome. Okay. No more snacks. Moving on to the bedroom, you can see I definitely didn't style this before this video because this morning I was in a rush and haven't put my pillows back on my bed. I did, however, manage to get some dark colored sheets. These are the Bamboo Cotton Blend Riley sheets, I think they were called, from my house. Really nice, very comfy. I love those. My other spare of the moment freedom purchase at the same time that I bought the mirror was this print here. It's a framed canvas. Again, it was... Highly discounted. I think there was a few hundred dollars off both items, which is why I <laughs> put them in my cart and accidentally bought them. Really, really just, I don't know, I love the vibe of this. It's so calming. I had actually originally thought about putting this on the wall 
in the living room but I realized that it, the vibe just didn't quite work whereas in my bedroom there are more I guess boho type more relaxed I don't know it's got more of a that kind of feel in terms of the other furnishings so I figured it would work great here it is going to go on my wall just up there and then my other new addition is another plant friend this one is it was a purchase uh for myself from myself for my birthday <laughs> and I also grabbed this pot which I love from Kmart. Kmart has so many awesome inexpensive pots if you're looking to find new homes for your plant friends definitely check out Kmart. I'm just trying to see if there's any other newness in this room. This little vessel shall we call it in the back there is from Freedom again on sale. I don't know why I even say that anymore I should pretty much just let you guys assume that pretty much everything I buy is either really inexpensive to begin with or on sale it's just it's just me let me just close that I also hung this hanging from oh gosh I almost forgot then from Target I got this hook from Freedom and really really loved it I loved the idea of making a hook the feature it's a little button hook so what I did was I sort of broke apart and bent the little ring that was at the top of the target wall hanging and then I used this old bangle that I had it's like costume jewelry I have a bunch of old things that I don't wear anymore and I used that and made my own little addition to the wall hanging which I think actually looks super awesome I love the way that turned out it's like the one thing I've actually got hung in this apartment but I love it let's ignore my slightly untidy bathroom to show you one other item that I picked up from Kmart it's this little set here this is in the bathroom section. It is new, but I feel like you could use it really anywhere in your home. It would work for stationary bits. It could work in the kitchen. It could work for makeup. I do have it in the bathroom. I've just popped a few random things to see. Look, tampons, fun. Um, some little like, you, I was gonna say utensils. What do you call these? Nail clippers and, and tweezers and things like that. And then I just have some random perfumes in there. I'm not quite sure exactly what I will stall in there, but I love it. And if you've got any of the other Kmart bamboo items from the bathroom section this will match perfectly with those and I thought that was really funky I love a little organizational moment whenever I can get one I just realized I almost forgot another new plant friend as if I could forget you this is a white bird of paradise this was another gift from my parents for my birthday and then the basket that I've got it in is actually from freedom as well it was on sale but I'm not going to mention it because you guys already guessed it if we move on over to the other side of my apartment, I did buy this little item here. This is from Ikea. It's just one of the, I think it's from the, the Brimes, Brimnes, Brims. I still have not worked out how to say it range. It's the same range as my bed. Oh, I'm losing my voice, clearly talking too much. But it is the vanity. Obviously not nicely styled and set up, but this is where I do my makeup in the morning. I am gonna put some wheels on the bottom of it just so it's easy to move. And if I needed to move it, out of here and into my room or to move it away somewhere if we needed to use this room as a guest room then I can but for now this just works as a setup for me to do my makeup in the morning as you can see I've still got bits and pieces everywhere I'm organizing receipts because it's tax time but the other item I have from the new Kmart range is this clock here it's just called the large black clock so it's very simple in design and that's what really attracted me to it attracted it to me attracted me to it and this is not gonna work, but eventually it's gonna go up there again. I will show you guys once it's hung. It's on my list of many things that I need to hang up in Rachel's apartment, but really liked that one as well. This was only $20, so really nice bargain piece. Okay, I feel like I'm really scatterbrained today. Clearly it's been too long since I've filmed an update because I'm all over the place. But what I am, oh, nope, wrong way, Rachel. <laughs> what I am gonna do is just quickly take you out to my balcony because not a lot has changed there, but I do have a couple of items to show you. So we might as well finish off this little update there. Oh, it's cool. So another new plant friend in the back. This is Mr. Cactus here. <laughs> this is a third plant gift from my parents for my birthday. And this was an older dares pot, which I think if you watched one of my very first apartment hauls, you would have seen this pot. So he's loving life right there. But what I have picked up recently is a bunch of different lanterns and some citronella candles because I'm getting ready for when the weather finally warms up out here and I can sort of do up this space a little bit and want to sit out here. There is a body of water nearby, so I do have mosquitoes as a issue. So 
hence the citronella candles. These were just $2, I think, from Kmart. This is also from Kmart. I've had this one for a little while, but these are new from Target. These two are part of the new range. I really, really love the look of these. This is actually a little bit older, and I got it on clearance for $5. This one is from Kmart and it already has a citronella candle in it. There are a few new bits and pieces. Again, these would work really well inside. I think they actually are meant for inside, but since my balcony is undercover, I think I can make it work outside as well. Oh, Kmart haul continues. This is also new from Kmart, this little water mister. I love it. I like that I can keep it out because it's cute looking, but it's also functional. And this plant is thriving. I love it. All these new leaves since the last time I spoke to you guys. Loving life. I may not be the most successful adult in the world, but I'm definitely becoming a more successful plant mum. So high five to me. I just turned the camera back on because I realized that I just cut the vlog without any kind of saying bye or I will chat to you soon or anything like that. Clearly at the end of the day, my brain is not functioning. I need to have a shower and make some dinner and just chill, but I will talk to you guys all very soon. It's laundry day, or in fact, it's laundry morning. I didn't really know what else to include in this video, so I thought I would just show little snippets of things that I'm doing in the apartment now and apartment living. This is an era that I got, or a drying rack, whatever you want to call it. It was an Aldi special buy randomly. The brand is Casa C. I don't know if I'm saying that right. What I really liked about it was that it expands. So this is it at full size, but it compacts down to quite a small little piece that I'm able to store in the laundry over there. And it holds enough that I can hang. This is washing for about a week. I did two loads, a dark and a light, and this is plenty for me because I do a spin and um, cycle at the end they don't come out soaking wet so it doesn't drip on my rug or anything like that and I do actually have it sitting over there usually but I drew it closer to the windows because now we have the morning sunlight I get morning sun in the apartment so that will help things dry I actually did these last night so it was super fun Friday night doing some laundry and it's now Saturday morning so it's mainly dry. They're still a little bit damp and it will dry and then I'll be able to put them away. But yeah, that's how you, um, or how I anyway, wash clothes in the apartment. I've just gotten back from a walk and I've still yet to put my laundry away because some things are still a little bit damp. But I did do my grocery shop for the week and I thought I could share that with you guys. I thought maybe some of you would find it interesting. One of the hardest things I've found about living out of home and by myself is actually food and food shopping. Not so much that I can't do it. It's not even the cooking. It's the trying to find food and buy food in the right amounts for one person so it doesn't go off and so that I can use it all and that I'm not buying too much or too little or like not having too many leftovers or not enough leftovers or whatever that may be. So I tend to shop in like a alternate week type fashion. There'll be some things that I'll buy that sort of last me two weeks and then I won't buy those the next week, but I might buy something else the following week. Like this week I didn't buy carrots, for example, because I buy enough carrots to last me for two weeks and I chop them up each week for my, like a snack at work type thing. So I'm gonna show you. I'm an Aldi and Woolies shopper here in Australia, Aldi and Woolworths, so that, anyway. Some of you may find this interesting. I'm not the most healthy eater in the world, so please don't judge. And I know there's a lot of single use plastic here. I'm trying to be better, but this is not a great example of that. <laughs> so from Aldi, I use these Slim and Trim meal replacement shakes as like a bref breakfast shake. Not the most healthy, um, not the best for you. For me, this is purely a convenience thing. And I do actually like the taste of these. I got a couple of um, brown rice cups. I really like these just as an additive to certain meals. Sometimes I'll make zucchini noodles and some kind of stir fry or something like that. And sometimes if I just want a little bit of extra, I don't know, carbohydrates or just to make the meal feel a little bit fuller, I will use those. And they're sort of single serve. Sometimes I'll use a whole cup. Sometimes I might even use half a cup and then I'll use the rest the following night. Easy to cook in the microwave or in another meal just to heat them up. I'm obsessed with halloumi at the moment. Love it. I love the Aldi halloumi. This will probably last me about two rounds of it. So I kind of eat half in one go and half in the next go. You get about eight slices of halloumi. It is delicious. 
I grabbed some strawberries just because, I don't know, I was feeling strawberries, mix it up. Cucumbers, again, I like to have cucumbers like on sandwiches or um, with salad, but I also will chop them up and have them as a snack for work. Some baby cos lettuce, a couple of heads of those. Lettuce is one of those hard ones that again, it's hard to buy and eat all, all before it goes off. So the cos lettuce I find seems to last a while and cause they're just like little small heads of it. I can use it for meals or on sandwiches or whatever that may be. Some little pikelets, I love those for snacks. I needed some eggs. Eggs is one thing that I find that I don't go through quick enough because I don't really eat breakfast at home. I'll have eggs with some meals, but um, I do do the whole water trick thing where you put it in cold water and see if they float because they definitely last longer than they use by date. Just my tip. I like the digestive biscuits when I want a little chocolate snack. They're not too bad in terms of calories. So I got some of those. And these, these are an Aldi find. If you like like having dessert or something like that, these are the Food Envy Salted Caramel Chocolate Mousse. They are so good. Domino's has like a, a something similar that they sell as like a dessert. But these are great. They have chocolate mousse and you dip into them and they have salted caramel sauce at the bottom. I tend to have like half of one of these for dessert. If I'm being good, I can eat a whole one in one setting. But there's 167 calories in each, which isn't too bad if you've been good through the rest of the day. So anyway, I really like those. I got some popcorn and some syrup waffles or stroop waffles. These were a special buy and I just really wanted to try them. So... That is my little Aldi haul there. We come over, excuse my messy sink, to my Woolworths shop. So I've got some zucchinis. I really like spiralizing and making zucchini noodles and just putting some kind of sauce and vegetables, maybe some chicken with it. It's sort of less calories than pasta and it means that I'm getting other nutrients in them. And most things just taste like sauce anyway. So I'll even make a spaghetti sauce and just use zucchini noodles. So very much new find for me. I didn't really eat zucchini when I was living at home and now I eat it all the time. So zucchinis. Oh, this is shaved chicken. This is actually from Aldi. So this is really delicious, but it's from Aldi. Um, I got some chicken breast. I just got the schnitzel one. I chopped this up. And one thing I find is that there's no way I would ever use this much and it would go off. So as soon as I buy it, I have to chop it up and I will separate it out into little, little baggies. I would probably set this, separate this into either four or five servings and freeze it and then just pull one out at a time. And that's the only way. Otherwise, this would all go to waste because I'd never eat this much chicken all at once. I'm not a big meat eater. I do have some snacks here. Oh, these uh, the Ritz. I love Ritz and these were on sale. Caramel Crowns also on sale. Kit Kat chocolate was on sale. I tend to buy like these type things when they're on sale and then just sort of eat them as I go. Broccolini. I add broccolini to a lot of things lately. Again, I chop it up really finely and I'll add it to um, stir fries or with meat or with like the zucchini noodles, whatever that may be. A little bit of chicken stock. I do add chicken stock to things to add flavor and I've got like the liquid one, but I thought I'd pick up a like powder one. I needed some more honey. I love honey on my halloumi. It's delicious. And I also love honey and peanut butter on um, English muffins or like crumpets or something like that. So that, this was a random new thing that's just been launched. It's the salty and sweet. So it's Ritz with chocolate in between. So it's like a salty cracker with chocolate. I just had one then because I haven't eaten all day and it's now two o'clock. It is delicious. So recommend those. Some oats. I recently got these because they're on special and I picked them up again because they're on special again. I don't get a lot of protein, I don't think, in my diet. So I like that these have the added protein in it. And in winter, these are delicious. Sometimes I'll add some like stewed apples and a little bit of honey for a little bit of extra flavor. But I really like those and just cook them in the microwave. This is another find that I've found for, I guess, single dinners. I will use about half of this for one meal and then the other half for another meal. So I get two meals out of these. They're a pre-made risotto. What I really liked about them was that they had no like nasty ingredients in them. This one's vegetarian. This one's obviously not. But when I read the back of them, it's like water, vegetables, um, cream, arborio rice, cheese, white wine, salt, sunflower oil, spices, and oregano. Like it doesn't have any preservatives, nothing that I can't pronounce. This one's the same. And yeah, I really like them. So what I do with these, they just, I heat them up on the stove, but I'll often add things to them. So I'll chop up some broccolini and put it in. I will use some baby spinach. That's another thing that I buy a lot, but I bought it last week, so I didn't buy it again. Um, I can add chicken to this one. So I could chop up some chicken and cook that first and then add that in if I wanted to make that one 
um, not vegetarian or something else but yeah these are in the sort of near the deli section in Woolworths highly recommend really like those you saw me allude to these before the delights I love these and they're on sale so I bought four boxes of them if you can get them on sale for a dollar or a dollar fifty do yourself a favor and buy them I love the sour cream and chives flavor but there are others that are nice as well if I can snack influence you or snack fluence you on anything you need to get these these and those food envy mousses so good so yeah that's everything not trying to influence in terms of healthy eating because i do not claim to be any kind of healthy eater but these kind of things are what i tend to buy each week or every other week the fresh stuff i'll tend to buy weekly there'll be some fresh things like i said that i like i might need to not need to buy broccolini next week because i'll only use half of that this week and i'll use the rest next week um same with say the lettuce cucumbers again i'll buy them bi-weekly and usually i can get a lot out of them sometimes what i'll do is i'll chop them up prepared and put them in some glass containers in the fridge and that just i find that that makes them last longer and it also makes me more inclined to use them and stop things from going off and being wasted in the fridge because that I hate wasting food it's my biggest pet peeve and that's one thing that I've certainly struggled with living on my own is that there's just there's not enough of me to eat all this food all at once and they just don't sell things in small enough sizes for one person and if they do they charge you a fortune so I hope this has helped you or you just if you were curious about what I eat now you know I finally put my laundry away and as you can see that error does fold down to be quite small it doesn't take up very much space and it fits perfectly in between my washer and my sink and I'm actually really happy I was a little apprehensive about the size of the laundry it's kind of really a cupboard with a washer and dryer in it but it seems to suit my needs I'm able to sort of store my broom and mop and I can put all my other things that I need to wash in here and I've got the little cupboard down there and yeah it all fits nicely and can be tucked away so then I don't need to think about washing again for another week good morning guys I have another sneaky update to show you to end this video I feel like not a lot has changed in my apartment but at the same time a ton has changed to me hopefully this video wasn't too boring for you but we finally did some hanging I'm not sure how much of it I managed to catch on camera It was a little difficult to record every time that we did something I never had the camera in the right place and it, it took ages honestly my dad and I are definitely not professionals but I'm very grateful to him because if I didn't have his help I would not have been able to do that anyway I'm gonna stop talking and show you guys what I'm talking about so the canvas is up in my room as you can see I've literally just shared a photo on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this, but now you can see it in real life. You can see I changed my pillows around a lot. I am very much fickle with that kind of thing. I jump and change, depends on how extra or not extra I'm feeling that day, but I've got the um, TK Maxx sort of body bolster cushion, whatever you want to call it there right now. We're going for a bit of a mustard only theme, but yes, the canvas from Freedom. I love the way it looks. It is quite large. My ceilings are quite high, so that's okay. I wasn't quite sure with the height and the pillows. It probably could be a little bit lower, but then if you wanted to sit there, you'd bang your head. And I just, I really am happy with how it looks overall. And um, yeah, it just really brings the space together. It has quite a calming, fresh vibe to it, I think. So I like the way that that's all looking with all my other bits and pieces. And yeah, my room feels very complete right now. There's still things I want to do, but it looks and feels complete which is awesome then if I bring you out here we can see my lovely prints I love these and I think they look awesome in the space I do wish they were a little bit bigger but that's just the size that they come in and I loved them so much that I'm just working with it and I actually don't mind sometimes when I look at it like through the camera it looks like they're a little bit small but in 
when you're actually experiencing the space, they look like just, I don't know, just like they're part of the space. They look great. So I'm happy with that. I did make them slightly off center because I've got the lamp there and I didn't want them, I didn't want to worry about centering the wall or centering on the lounge, which is obviously not centered on the wall. So yeah, I'm really happy with how they look. I like the extra color that they add to the room without being too sort of in your face. They're probably not showing up true to life on camera. They look quite muted, which I mean, they are quite muted colors, but yeah. They suit the space really well. I think the vibe of them suits the space as well. We also got the clock up. Um, I'm really happy with the clock. $20 from Kmart is awesome. I did have to take it back, however. It just wasn't keeping the time at all. So I took it back, even though I didn't have the packaging. I did have the receipt and they managed to replace it for me. And this one overnight seems to have kept the time. So that is awesome. Very happy with that one. And if I step back and show you how the space, I mean, it looks a little bit messy because I've been working there, but yeah, that's how the space is looking right now. Oh, I just realized when I took the clock back to Kmart, I came out with more bits and pieces. That is just always the way with Kmart. I return one thing and come home with more things. I got a few of these little roller storage baskets. Not quite sure what I'm going to use to store them, what I'm going to use them for to store stuff in, but uh, I'll work it out and I'm sure I'll show you guys once I've done a little bit more cupboard organization. I think that's pretty much all the updates I have to show you guys. There's like a lot of buying of little things, things that as I moved in I realized I didn't have. Like I didn't have like a potato masher and I don't know, certain like utensils and cutlery and bits and pieces that you need. I mean I had cutlery but I don't know, little bits and pieces. I have organized this drawer and I don't know if you'd seen these. These I'd ordered when I'd ordered my bin that never came. That was a very long story. But this is my half kind of like utensils drawer, half bottom drawer, junk drawer type thing since I don't have a junk drawer. And I think these work really well. You can get very similar to these from Kmart. And then I think these the brand is made and I know that you can get them from Howard Storage World and a couple of other places as well. So you kind of pick these pieces individually and they just lock together. So this worked out quite well for me. And yeah, now I think I'm just rambling. So I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed this update and uh, let me know if you want me to continue showing you more. There's not a lot big stuff to do but little things so i can keep you updated if you want to okay i'm really going now bye guys